we are here with Movie Nerds back for the first episode on live streaming and on video. We did the movie cast, people didn't really watch it, so we're coming to our Facebook fans and checking out what you guys want to see and what's coming up with the latest movies. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, they're gonna see some serious shit. Tonight we're going to be talking about Infinity War, the Comic-Con trailer. We're going to be talking Star Wars, these leaked images. There's a Han Solo and Kylo Ren fan theory that you might not, know, might not have heard of. We're going to be talking about it. We're going to be talking about Justice League. We're going to be talking about the new Flash film. And we're going to be talking about collectibles with Draz, the collectible man. Oh yes here. we are guys. We're going to be talking about the newest collectibles that are coming out. Some of the crazy shit that's going on. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck into it. Let's start off with Star Wars. Actually, let's start with Infinity War because I fucked that whole thing up. And we're live, so who cares? Um, so, we've all seen the Infinity War trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, yep. it is like the worst possibly shot trailer that you have ever seen in your life. If you Come could on. imagine one guy sitting in the auditorium of Hall H in Comic-Con headquarters yep. with his phone kind of like this. It's, it's, it's like, out of his come pocket. on. Like... It's it's half cut off. He's gone to the least amount of effort to record a video, but he's tried. You could just do it, seen it in your pocket like that and just be like, oh yeah, I'm not recording. Come we know on, how man. You are with dodgy videos and recording, but let's not get into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, GoPro. <laughs> but what I will say is, a lot of things we got from this trailer, yep. we, we got Thor smashing into it. If you haven't seen it, don't go see it now because we're live. You can go see it afterwards, but I'm going to give you a good rundown of what happens. Basically, Guardians of the Galaxy, the team of Guardians, oh my God. are flying in their ship. Um, Star-Lord, front seat, smash straight into Thor. His face goes plummeting onto the screen, and they're like, The fuck? Who are you, champ? What are you doing here? And he's knocked out as well. Yeah. And they bring, well, they he's bring probably him... probably not. He's, let's be honest. He's probably, he's probably wide-eyed. We Thor. can't tell because he of the Thor. shitty quality of this video. But they bring him in the ship, and he wakes up, and he's like, Ah! Who are you guys? And then, basically, we get into an entire, entire feed of everyone joining the Infinity oh War to take on Thanos and his gods of thunder. Uncle Thanos. Uncle Thanos <laughs> and his Thanos ways. Basically, it's probably yep. going to be Uncle Ben from Spider-Man, I think, maybe. Do you think? Really? No, not really. Probably it's... not. My favourite my favorite <laughs> bit of the trailer, Tony Stark with the Guardians. Oh, my God. That yeah. was incredible. We basically, get... there's yeah. a lot of semis in this, in this, in this, in this trailer. Mine like... was more than a semi. <laughs> When I saw that, Yours we was saw poking in your eye. <laughs> we, we saw Sp we saw Spider Man. Spider Man on a bus. He was on a bus. How oh exciting! My, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Probably the most exciting you've ever seen of a, of a Spider Man um, t uh, movie. Um, but no, it's it, honestly it's everyone in the Marvel universe yeah. coming into a movie. It's gonna be fucking epic. This trailer it didn't really show off too much. I feel like I mean, there's obviously gonna be a whole lot more in this oh, movie yeah. that that hasn't been shown yet. But I think what it did for the better part of what I saw, which was a very small angle and corner of this trailer. Painful, but yes, we watched um, it. Because until someone sponsors us to go to Comic-Con, I'm looking at you, sponsors. Uh, we're going to be paying for ourselves <laughs> to get over there next year. But this year, we're there, what we're doing. Anyway, so um, what we wanted to talk about was like, what do you think, how do you think this movie is going to be? Do you think it's going to be awesome? Do you think it's going to be... Wow. Shit, do you think we're going to have another DC thing? What? Give me some no, thoughts. No, 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 no. I think this is going to be the best in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think bringing everyone together of all these amazing movies. Fuck, we saw Black Panther in there as well. Yeah. Black Panther was quite prominent. He yeah. was like scratching. Yeah. Panther scratching. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you give him this fix where you're just like, <laughs> but that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's all coming back to me. I'm like, ah. But I think this is going to be the biggest movie ever. Biggest, biggest movie, so most money, most, most views. Well, think about Avengers. Most probably torrents and biggest Australian pirated movie ever made. Yeah. And it, Disney Universe, uh, Disney Australia is probably going to get very angry about it. Um, but look, if, the, if the leaked yeah. trailer is anything to go by being the most leaked trailer of worldwide phenomenon, whatever happened to it. You want to see everyone together. Maybe this might be the last time we ever see everyone together. Also, Captain... Captain, let's talk about Captain America with the beard. Yeah, not so much America though. He's got no affiliation to any anything. He's not in the Avengers anymore. Why? Because he did some serious shit that they made them turn against him. Uh, he's been a bad boy. Hasn't he has he? been a bad boy. Bad baby, bad baby. Um, but, but the beard looks good. It does. It doesn't. The and beard suits him. We're rocking the beard. Yeah, yeah not so much. It's kind I'm of like a little bit of stubble. And, I'm growing it. And I got told to shave mine, so mine's trimmed down to a little bit. But that's coming through again. It's like. 
You're doing the whole Logan thing, eh? Yeah, I guess. Semi-old I man, but not. <laughs> so essentially, but yeah. yeah. I'm getting an old man, though. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, we're all getting old, aren't we? Uh, but still loving the movie. So yes. we kind of wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about why this movie, why this trailer hasn't been released worldwide and why people aren't viewing it by the masses in a HD quality. And I think it's because um, not only will this movie... Oh, the trailer probably show too much when we've got two movies of the Marvel Universe coming out before it with yeah. Black Panther and Thor Ragnarok. Um, but this trailer was definitely made for a Comic-Con audience and it was made for the people in the audience to watch it and, you know, froth over and to, you know, get the semis that we got watching this shit house yeah. trailer version of it. But most of all is that if they, if they put out this trailer before you know, Thor Ragnarok comes out and before Black Panther comes out, people are going to get excited for that movie, um, Avengers Infinity War, hmm. before those movies come out and you'll find that the, well, I think you'll find that the the numbers of those movies and the ticket sales will go down dramatically because people don't oh, yeah. want to see this Thor movie because they know there's bigger movies coming out. Oh my God. And Spoiler alert, Thor survives. What Ragnarok? He survives. <laughs> we know what happens, and that's. And I think that's another yeah. thing we can we can talk about that. You know, Infinity War is definitely gonna. I mean, they're gonna have to kill off a lot of. Not they don't have to kill them off, but I think it's gonna see a dramatic change in the Avengers. I think you're gonna personally. I mean, there's people that I know have said mm. that Falcon and and maybe Hawkeye are gonna go, but yeah. let's be honest, they're probably gonna be the ones that stay because Falcon is. You know, he's a cheap actor. He's new. Um, in the comic books, he takes over the Captain America shield and the the, na- the name and title. So you're probably going to find that Chris Evans might actually leave, and um, you know Robert Downey Jr. probably is probably going to leave. I mean, oh, he's come to the end please. of his contract. He's please, come Robbie, to the end of- don't leave, Robbie. <laughs> Stay with us. You're the best in the franchise. It's true. It's true. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to Star okay. Wars. Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Star um, Wars, okay, leaked images of Snoke. Of Snoke and everyone. Like, so there, there, was, there was images mm. from uh, Ray to Finn to Carrie Fisher to, I mean, Leia, sorry, I've come with everyone, but Chewie, character names, Chewie. Luke. Um, and uh, I almost said Han Solo, but that would have been a lie because he got knifed the hell out he of He got like, knifed. Oh, um, man. I, have you heard the theory that uh, Snoke could be Palpatine, possibly? But I loved what you were talking off camera about that you're thinking. Snow could be Plagueis, but everyone's thinking that it's not just it's not really. Just me. I mean, Where am I being? You're kind of hearing this firsthand, but um, but to the rest of the world, I mean, that's pretty mm. obvious. I think I think that I think it's highly probable that Snoke's going to be Plagueis. I mean, there's so many things that tee up his damaged mm. face. Um, we we heard um, Palpatine talking about Plagueis um, or the story of Plagueis in Episode Three, and it's all kind of leading up to that new character and we know that J.J. Abrams when he made episode 7 he loved bringing in the old characters and yeah, reusing them again and so I feel like this time around he's going to bring in Plagueis and he's just you know Snoke might be his first name or, yeah. or his you know human name because I mean obviously Darth Vader was I mean he's Anakin Skywalker right and yeah. then he was given the name Darth Vader and then given the name Darth Plagueis and maybe his real name is you know Snoke Fucking Skywalker. Who knows? You know what I mean? Like Skywalker. No, 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 I don't get too excited about that. That was a complete lie and off the cusp of my head. But you know what I'm thinking? What? God, if they get down the CGI, he's probably going to be Snoke Nub, and he's going to be Nia Nub's older brother. Nine Nubs. Nine Nine Nubs. Sorry, yeah. Nine 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 Nub. Nub. Yeah, that's why he's called Nine Nubbin. Yeah, Nine Nubbin. Snoke Nubbin. No, I hope they don't do the CGI fight like they did with Yoda. Remember in um, was it episode two? Episode two. Oh my God! Jumping around. You got a CGI person, and but even even Christopher Lee in that scene was CGI. So the whole that whole sequence and yeah. and the background and the ships, everything in that sequence was CGI. They didn't. Mm. It was all done in computer, so no one was fighting then. Um, and I'm pretty sure back then they didn't even use um, motion capture. So it was just them, some kid playing in a computer and just going, "This is what I want." Well, oh, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's, it's Lucas good. sitting behind going, "Well, Mo- I Mo- think Tarkin. this one's got to be." Mo- Tarkin wasn't too around. bad in um, in Rogue One, so. Well, let's I mean, hope that's, that, that's um, something definitely to talk yeah, about. Yeah, let's hope that uh, Snoke's going to actually be, have a lot of realism to him. I don't, I don't think that's an issue. I think I think realism factor, I think definitely is going to look amazing. Yeah, I hope so. Um, but I, I, I'd, be, I'd be surprised and shocked if you saw him in a lightsaber battle. I think it's going to be more the route of, you know, Palpatine where, 
I mean, sure, you saw him in episode three fight with a mm-hmm. lightsaber when he was a bit younger, but that's a totally different story. That's Lucas, not so much in his prime. Mm-hmm. Sorry if I offend people with that, but I'm not a fan of prequels. <laughs> um, and, you know, he, I feel like this time around, yeah. Kennedy probably will see this more of an emperor role, and you'll probably see him just do some electricity, maybe some force throws and stuff like that. So it's going to be some cool shit. Yeah. But let's move on to a Kylo Ren and Han Solo fan theory. I've got this written down here, so I didn't want Read to... Read it out, brother. Read I didn't want out. to um, you know, jump straight into it and kind of half-wing mm. it. So, here we go. Okay. I'm I good. think... This is coming from a Reddit user. Okay. I don't know his name. I'm sorry, Reddit user. Yeah. You're going to be Reddit user James Brown. James Brown, really? And he's back. He's back really? living in America. Living <laughs> in America. <laughs> I'm a uh, Sorry, okay. I think oh, Han is one who, one who activated the lightsaber, not Ben. So Ben talking about Kylo Ren, Ben Solo. Um, and he says, uh, I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Will you help me? And Han says, yes, um, anything. So Kylo pulls out the lightsaber and holds it in both hands. Um, my phone just went off because, you know, that's what it does. Um, one second. Is that part of the script? It's part of the script. Um, really? No. Okay. Um, so Han reaches down to grasp the center of the lightsaber. Um, we just see their faces, but notice they aren't struggling. The lightsaber. Oh, act- Han reaches down and grabs. We're talking about a lightsaber. Get your damn head and out of the <laughs> trash. <laughs> Don't talk about Star Wars this way. There's no sexual activities in this movie. Um, what does he grasp again? His, I don't know, pen 15. Um, no, but seriously, <laughs> no. He's, um, we see their faces and they notice they aren't struggling. The lightsaber well, activates and goes through Han. Kylo looks startled for a moment and yeah. says, thank you. Han touches his... Han touches his son's face and falls into the abyss. Now, the, the theory of it is that Kylo and Ben journey to the dark side. The, sorry, the Kylo Ben journey to the dark side yep. required him to kill his father. Han knew this and knew that he knew that the, his, only, it says, the only way to save his son knew, is for him to die. And so he pretty much grabbed the saber and said, I'm going to save my son's life. I'm going to kill myself. And he activated it, sending it through, killing himself. So that means we should have some sympathy for Kylo Ren. No fucking way, because there's no redemption for Kylo. Why is there no redemption? There's no That's redemption. It. You're not wrong. That's it. Knights That's exactly of Ren, he killed all those poor Jedis. Luke's gone into exile because he can't handle the fact that, you know, he was training this super-powered Sith and, uh, or super-powered Jedi that ends up going to the dark side, turning into a Sith Lord, and we've got Kylo Ren. So I don't give a shit if he turns around in that moment when, let's say, Ray's going to shove that lightsaber straight through him. <laughs> And he's like, I'm Ray's so... getting violent. Yeah, he's like, I'm so sorry. I don't care. Be sorry, mate. Get the saber and die. <laughs> Put his fucking head off. Whoa. I was screaming when I was watching Force Awakens. I was like, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> but he didn't die. Loss. That was a huge loss. I remember my mate, or he's part of the team, Scott, he had read a little theory that, that Chewbacca was going to die in that scene. And he expected Chewie to die. I would have walked the fuck out there. And when he saw Han die, he was just like, his face was just like... <laughs> Um, but anyway, but yes. Um, so you think that he can't redeem himself? Hundred so, percent not. Well, how do you think Darth Vader redeemed himself? And different scenario. Different well, scenario. They already lived through that with Vader, and it was you know he was drawn to the dark side, you know. But he also killed all the younglings. Like, but I guess. I guess in a way... Are we just... talking about the prequels that never existed? <laughs> well, they have to exist. It's hard part of canon. You have to exist. Them. But it's fodder. I guess you're kind of thinking in the way that... I mean, I'm, I don't know how you think it's your brain. You can think how you want. But I guess my thoughts of what you just said would mm. be that he only redeemed himself to Luke and not so much... Just before he was dying anyway. So yeah. it was the last like uh, final thing on his death. Yeah, he wasn't really redeeming himself as a Jedi or a Jedi Knight yeah. or you know a Knight of the Sith or whatever. He was kind of redeeming himself to his son. And I guess that makes it a little bit different. So, so this is strange because then he, they could do the switcheroo and if they filmed enough of Kerry Fisher as Leia, maybe yeah, he might... Yeah, planned ahead. Would he have redeemed himself to her? Well, that makes it a bigger issue, doesn't it? Because that, even you've got... You've got I mean, Harrison Ford, he's not dead, but Han Solo is, unless they do some stupid trickery and they, they bring him back, you know, no. he fell into a vent or something like Luke Skywalker oh, did in episode, episode four or five, sorry. But, um, God, this is going, this is going some good places. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon he, I reckon he could actually Oops. maybe, I reckon he could uh, maybe redeem himself possibly to Ray before Ray kills him or why does he need to redeem himself to Ray? I guess. Well, you're saying that, you know, he I, I might was, go down the same Darth Vader thing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, this is just a theory. But then I guess you, my, my point was, who can he redeem himself? Because 
you've got Leia's dead. I mean, well, Carrie, apologies, Carrie Fisher is dead. And so unless they thought ahead with that and shot it hmm. prior to her dying, I mean, they would have to know she was yeah. dying to be able to preempt that. It's, you know, it's kind of an impossibility. Um, and, you know, who is he redeeming himself to? Yeah. So I guess he, they have to kind of find that, you know, energy and uh, come to find in the alley to, to prove that. Anyway. Yes. Um, so other things that happened at Comic-Con, we know we're a bit behind with this, but it took us a while to set up mm. this live feed. So I don't know what you want us to do about it. We'll catch up next week. So this time we're going to be talking yeah. about the Justice League trailer, um, which showed at Comic-Con. You've seen it. I've seen it in quality HD, finally. Yes. Um, thank God for that. Um, what did you think? What are your thoughts? Well, uh, my thoughts. Let me think about it. Uh, Charlize, no. <laughs> I have not seen it. So don't tell everyone I have. I, I Look, I try not to watch any trailers. I like to go in cold oh. to movies. Infinity War, yes, you forced me to watch. I was like, ah, why? But I will not watch any Star Wars. So you tell me what you think about Justice League. I have not watched it. I don't want to be spoiled. How well, am I meant to tell you about it when I can't spoil it? No, no, no I Batman mean, like, dies. I Oh, uh, uh, shit. Um, what? No, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, basically it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a part of the, part of the trailer. So I don't know if you know, so let's catch you up. So Joss, um, uh, Zack Snyder left the production, yes. so he's not the director anymore. So he has shot, I think they shot predominantly the whole film, but he had to leave because his daughter died. I'm, I, 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 one okay, of his, his yeah, someone's daughter died, I'm pretty sure it's his daughter. That, yeah. So he left and then Joss Whedon took over. Which right? is great because he's doing a switcheroo. So. And he does a great job. He did amazing with Avengers, Avengers 2, not so much, uh, but I think that was... Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh yeah, let's um, not He wrote the that. best script for that. And Firefly and yeah. um, and Serenity and... Anyway, you know who Joss Any, Whedon is. Anyway. If you're watching this, you fucking know who he is. <laughs> so he's taken over... Um, Justice League yes. and there is massive reshoots on this film um, we're talking reshoots to the point where um, Henry okay. Cavill has gone off to different films he's grown a moustache and they've brought him back into this movie and he's had to keep that moustache 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 how do you say it anyway why can't I say that word uh, anyway let's not talk about that okay. uh, but I can't edit it out because it's live so everyone knows now I can't say moustache moustache god Mustache. damn it <laughs> mustard anyway so okay. he stuck with that I'm never going to say it again he stuck with that yes um, and they have to digitally edit this out on every scene that he's in you're f joking because me. Superman obviously doesn't have a beard he's the cleanest cut mofo around um, so but they could have gone down that road and kept him with the beard they could have but now half the production budget spent digitally removing it um, so I think that's pretty fantastic, but either point, either way, you can tell from this trailer that Joss Whedon yeah. has had some, you know, touches to it. Like it's, it's brighter, it's happier. There's a lot of more, you know, um, puns to people making, you know, one, one line jokes and stuff. There's and a lot of quips. It's it. weird. I don't know what. Yeah. Buffy shows up. Really? Um, yes. Yeah. It's, I'm not even kidding. So, they, they, so they up. do the reunion. Yeah. And, and David Baroness pops up and he's like, hey, I'm Angel, <laughs> uh, I love you. And then Spike pops up and he's like, yeah. I love you too. And he's then like, Hello, mate, I love you. Yeah, he gets that weird relationship. But anyway, no, really. Really? It shows a lot of different <laughs> stuff. We've um, Cyborg CGI is a lot better because that was a big issue. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and we just talk about what's happening. You know, we just it just shows off what's happening with Justice mm -hmm. League, essentially. Um, but if you haven't seen it, then this is kind of pointless. I was excited to talk to you about it. But you are telling everyone out there who's probably seen it and... Now it's right. weird. It's going to be this one-sided conversation. So I'm going to move on to the next bit, which is Flashpoint. Um, yes, so, please talk about this. It's fucking exciting. Yeah, so um, Flash has been... Flash, the movie, they've been trying to make this for a while. It's gone through a ton of different directors. It's mm -hmm. gone through all these different writing changes. Um, Jeff Johns has come aboard DC and just gone, you know, what you're doing with this is bonkers. Yep, yep, yep. Let's add some new stuff to it. So they've gone down the Flashpoint um, story and that's, you know, got to do with the Flashpoint Paradox mm -hmm. and Flash waking up, uh, Barry Allen waking up and being in a different universe. Shit's changed around. Um, you've got Thomas Wayne taking over the Batman role, which is, so in this in this timeline, this. Bruce was the only one that died in the um, in Crime Alley when you know they left the yeah. cinema or the Broadway, depending on what timeline you read. Yeah. And um, yeah, Bruce dies, and so Thomas takes up the the mantra of the Bat, and he is a totally different Batman. He's badass. He kills people. He's he got red does. eyes. Um, he's yeah, he's bonkers. Like he's straight up nuts. But the, I think I think for me the the most awesome thing about this timeline is that Martha ends up being the Joker. Yes. And I mean, I'm not saying that this this DC movie will head down that lane because you've got Lauren yeah. Cohen 
and Jeffrey D. Morgan. Both from, from Walking Dead. So yeah. Maggie and uh, Negan. Yeah, are taking up. They took up those roles in yeah. Justice League for a very brief moment at the start of the movie. It was very quick cut. If you didn't God, see it, yeah. you know, maybe check it out again. But um, you know, they've, they they are Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne, mm-hmm. and so it's potential. There's a potential here for them to be added to the main cast for this movie for Flashpoint. Yep. Um, or they could use Flashpoint as a complete re, um, redo or reboot and- of the whole franchise and. You know, we've heard that we've heard that um, uh, Ben Affleck doesn't want to be a part of. No, no, no. But then he's come back out at Comic Con and he said that he wants to be a part of it. He's happy with it. Yeah. You know? But if you're in front of, um, say, like eighty thousand yeah. fans that all came to see Batman, mm-hmm. would you want to say on top of that screen, "I don't want to be a part of Batman"? I feel like that shit's he, gonna he, hit the roof. He could say whatever he wants. He's Ben Affleck. He can. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, he could even do uh, the real take on Goodwill Hunting 2 uh, hunting season. Remember the sauce? <laughs> <laughs> um, true, it's very true. Um, I'm sure I'm sure that's been in the pipeline somewhere, a sequel to that. Yeah. Um, Jane Silent Bob, uh, yeah, that was a good movie. Jane Silent Bob reboot's coming up. You heard Can't about that? Can't wait for that, man. That's going to be excellent. Yeah, yeah. Finally You're... something Kevin Smith can bring out that's not going to suck. Yeah, well, I mean, if, if you didn't know, Kevin Smith has a competition at the moment where you can jump online and design a t-shirt the Jane Silent Bob okay. and it can actually get in the film and it'll be used predominantly and then they will sell it after the movie oh that's pretty cool it's fucking sick as a designer I'm straight onto that shit yeah. talking about designs what the hell is this thing well a uh, good friend over in the UK <laughs> uh, made this for us a child's toy no it's not a, it's one of those <laughs> it's one of those beads I wanted to have the logo quite small because I wanted to wear it around I remember you saying this to me you'd be like man I got us necklaces they are gonna be sick as you do right and I'm like, sick, I can't wait for these. This is going to be pretty cool. I don't wear necklaces, but I'll, I'll wear one for yeah, you. Yeah. I, you know, I feel your pain. And then this comes in the mail. And it's massive. It's it absolutely like a, massive. It is like a but you know what? clock. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Flavor Flav Draz, I'm done. <laughs> Flavor Draz. I mean, if, you, if, you, if I didn't talk about it, people might have thought it had been part of the t-shirt. But, um, but uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it does look like McDonald's fries to me. That's what I'm thinking because I'm... <laughs> Strangely in love with McDonald's. I mean, you can tell by the size of me. Um, but <laughs> but anyway, so that's Flashpoint. Um, yes. So it you know it could potentially be Martha and Thomas Wayne. That would be incredible um, to or see. Or it re- yeah. they really could use it as a reboot of the franchise and you know introduce a new Batman. Yeah. They could introduce Dick Dick Grayson um, as you know Nightwing and make him take over the ban- Batman uh, mantra mm-hmm. mantra mantle. Sorry. Um, and uh, you know you've got other things that could happen. You um, could get a new Flash. You could get um, reverse Flash, you could get... Um... Reverse Flash. See, I love the whole story of Flashpoint. I think that is... If they're going to go down any story for Flash, that is the best. Because you're right, it's... So many different A, a different angles, joke yeah. in now that Jared Leto's bought out that's his contract thing, that's and thing. he's completely gone. That's so. it. Well, that's that's not, not confirmed. Cohen, I can't say that's confirmed, the Jared Leto stuff. You say Jared Leto, I say Jared Leto. But that's only because of... Um, Jay Leno, it's Leto Leno. I Leno. say the same kind. Um, of they're related. Hello. Well, they both got pretty big chins, chins I guess. Anyway, um, <laughs> but what do you want to talk about? You're here for collectibles. Collectibles. And, and talking about movies, but what's happening in collectible universe? Okay, the collectible uh, sort of saga at the moment is the Swamp Thing. So Prime One Studios have released an amazing Swamp Thing statue. It's uh, I think it's half scale. And, or it could be a quarter scale. But anyway, it's got uh, interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands. But Sideshow, Sideshow's come along and they've released a quarter scale version, which looks like absolute horse shit. So I'm definitely going to go down the Prime 1 uh, road because I think it's just phenomenal. They've also uh, teased us at WonderCon the uh, Diana on a horse, well, Wonder Woman on a horse. Shit, man, I saw that. That looks sensational they zoomed in on My the face Ariel's going to be upset when I purchase, purchase that oh brother I'm going to be getting it and we're going to just have it together <laughs> we'll ride horses down the oh I can't wait and they've also teased uh, Evil Dead 2 uh, Prime 1 Studios is going to release that and also Terminator 2 so maybe an endoskeleton or what they've said is a T-800 Arnie yeah so I can't wait. Prime one of the best. Some stuff I've seen for collectibles wise um, recently, I thought were pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, were the Hot Toys one four scale Joker and uh, the Batman that came out with that. Oh yeah, um, man. the Batman not so much. I'm not that excited about, but uh, the Joker looks sensational. The Heath Ledger Joker from The Dark Knight Returns. Yep. Um, is 
like phenomenal. If you haven't seen this, make yeah. sure you head over to Hot Toys. I'm sure they've got pictures of it or just search internet. Yeah, look up Comic Con or WonderCon or something like that. Look, it looks good, but the sculpt's a bit off. And, they're, oh. and they are. And they're offering uh, the sculpt with half painted, half not painted for an exclusive little extra. I still will buy it because I think at the end of the day when the, like we see the prototype, but they're going to refine it a little bit. But I'm more excited about the ultimate collectible that I bought and I cannot wait. The half scale Joker from Prime One Studios. Man, your your room is going to be filled with Joker phenomena. Like, Heath Ledger's dad will come in and just be like, is this getting weird? Because um, it might be. Because you've got a weird... Uh, Kim's welcome over any time you want. <laughs> you've got a <laughs> one-to-one scale silicon, silicon um, Glass face. eyes, real hair that they of, scalped of... off a poor little Russian girl. So oh like, these snaps of money, they gave her five bucks, scalped your hair, put it in. But it's unbelievable. You walk into his room, like I'm not like frothing over Draz's stuff, but you as are. a collector, you I are. was. I walked in there and just went, what the shit is that at the back? And it's this one-to-one scale um, bust of Heath Ledger's Joker. And, yeah, made and, by Howard uh, Sempt. Right, well, I don't the know The legendary is, Howard Sempt. I'm sure he's yeah. amazing because this thing is phenomenal. Oh, yeah, like, it, is, it looks like it's been taken straight out of the movie. It looks like Heath Ledger is back from the dead yeah. sitting in the back of your closet, essentially. Um, or the man cave. I mean, it's not really much of a closet, but you know, if it was, that's where it'd be. Best closet ever. Yeah. Um, but this thing is amazing. Anyway, so... Oh, look, I, I think it is a great piece, and there's still a little bit of work to be done, but you'll be able to see that on the uh, Collector Series. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Collector Series, yes. Yes. So we've got a brand new series coming up on our YouTube channel uh, in the coming weeks. We're waiting until we finish episode six, yes. uh, and then we're going to release it as a series. Uh, uh-huh. The Collectors. Um, we have chat to awesome collectors all across Sydney, um, and we're going to be heading to different states soon enough. Yeah, um, and then America next year. And then America next year when we head to Comic-Con. Um, but if you haven't haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do. Our numbers aren't as big as they are here. That's why we're going live with Facebook and not YouTube. Not that that matters, <laughs> but that's the reason. Um, so make sure you head over to our YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash so is it any good. And you'll be able to subscribe to that. And in the coming weeks, probably two weeks, we're going to launch with the collectors. Um, an awesome look at awesome collections across Australia and beyond. Oh, definitely, man. I think it's going to be phenomenal. We got some great, we got a great lineup. I can't wait. I can't wait either. Another thing, and lastly, I will talk about collections and collectors and collectibles is Please. Um, Hollywood FX Studio. Don't quote me on the actual company, yep. but they are releasing. And I thought by the pictures, and I got so excited about this. I remember I run, I ran around the house and I ran to my wife and I'm like, her name's Ariel. And I was like, Ariel, look at this. I mean, you know her name's Ariel, but everyone else doesn't. Look at this, look at this, like a full scale. A proton pack from Ghostbusters and it's only uh, $60. This is the most amazing thing in the world. See, our uh, bucket chains is all going everywhere to this. And I was going to buy, I thought in my head, I'm going to buy like four of these and I'm going to sell them in Australia and make some money anyway yeah. and keep one for myself. Then they actually released live videos of it and it's like half scale and it's so upsetting. But it's like, it's Come pretty on, close. It has lights and sound and shit and it was like 60 bucks and I was like, this is flawless. But it's only half scale and it looks kind of terrible after but, you look close at it. But the people should see what you've made. He's made a life-size oh. proton pack. So yeah, it's pretty good. Then it had uh, cat piss on it, but let's not talk about that. Let's not, but I want you to make me one so I can put next to my life size Slimer. And your life size Heath Ledger Joker thing. That oh looks man, pretty badass. Love the collectibles. Um, but let's let's fucking let's wrap it up there. Why We're gonna not? wrap this it. We're gonna feels, wrap it. Okay. Feels pretty safe. Um, we are talking movie nerds every Monday at seven, maybe seven thirty. Looks like it's gonna be seven. Who knows? Um, <laughs> and I'm Ryan. I'm Draz. Make sure you check out us next week for Movie Nerds. Thanks so much for checking out that video. If you love movies and want to find a little bit more of what goes on behind the scenes, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you want to stay up to date with what's going on here at So Is It Any Good.